welcome back to the scenario of the football night uh the greater city of Ubudila cup 2019 on 25th of august is our subject today and we had the live draw as you saw earlier on the program and this is the final chapter of the three chapters we had in this program and i have th four more new guests with me can i introduce the guests with me first joar joar from uh usmani nagar can i ask your full name please brother don't mind Jawa ali Jawa ali and i have a uh, guyas mia from chatok and i have enam enam from <coughs> Gulab Gonj, and I have Shafiq Islam from uh, <coughs> Dirai. Now, as we said, uh, I think you watched the program earlier, yeah. that we were only discussing the draw tonight, the group. Okay, I'll, ask, I'll start with Jawar. Jawar, uh, Usmani Nagar, two times champions, four times in the finalist. This is history, it's going to be very hard for any team to break. But today's draw, what do you think about today's draw? Alhamdulillah, the draw's okay, it could have been worse. Um, we've got a good group, uh, so inshallah we're hopeful to progress at least to the next stage. Um, but you never know, obviously Silat Shadar has got a new new setup, new management, they're, they're very active on social media, you know, but on the day, let's see what happens. But we've got some very experienced teams in our group, um, like Bishnath are very strong, um, Dokkin Shunam Gonj are unexpected. Uh, Dirai always give us a good game, so it should be an interesting group, but inshallah, we should progress to the next stage. Yeah, this thing is not about social media though, this thing about is who's playing on the, on the day. That's it, it's about, it's, it's about turning up on the day and making sure the squad are fit, performing and focused on the day, and I think it's veterans football, this isn't preparing people for semi-pro or, or top league football. This mm -hmm. is veterans football. It's trusting your senior players. That's one area where we've lost some of our senior players. They've retired, uh, who've been instrumental in helping us get to the final. But it's a chance for some of the new players coming through. So. Is there any specific names who have re retired from Spanien Yes, yeah, so obviously our captain Rupon Bai is uh, retired and um, Rashid Bai, who's from Mahmudan, who's one of the Veterans of uh, football. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's retired. He so played for Sporting Bengal. Uh, he's played for Sporting Bengal. So we've lost some key people, mm. but it gives opportunities to the younger players. But and it's that's natural. Exciting. This is by nature because they're aging as well. That's it. I think they're all both 45 plus, I think, yeah. Rashid and, and Ripon. And this nowadays in the 35 plus, some of the 35 plus I watch in training and in the matches. They didn't look like vets, you know. Sometimes they look like like, like, like their normal team. That's right, and, and it's good because the standard of the football will go up, and that's what we yeah. want. Okay, Joa, thank you, thank you. Can I come to Goyas now in Chatok? Chatok is in the group uh, B with Dokin Shurma, Gulab Gonj, Nobi Gonj, Jagannathpur. I think uh, brother in the earlier chapter <coughs> did call it the group of death, and I second it. Uh, Goyas, how is it looking for you? Uh, we've been there before, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> Obviously, with uh, two champions uh, in one group, uh, one current champions and ourselves, um, hot favourites as ever, Jagannathpur um, and our good friends, Gulab Goenj, mm. who are very difficult to beat, um, but then again, they don't hardly beat anyone. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so, um, and, you know, Dokin Shurma, they can come up with surprises. I know they've got some, you know, some... They did really surprise us. Yeah, Last year, they did surprise. They did, and, and you know, and every sort of Upuzila has been... Um, recruiting so you know we are not going to take anyone lightly it is a very tough group but yeah let's see how it goes uh I, in, in in gulab going uh, the, the, there's a record of them they don't let anybody score they don't score but they don't let anybody score as well yeah that's right that's <laughs> why i mean that's what it, that's why it's really tough yeah. um when you play against gulab and i think for the last five years four years in a row we've had them in our group um, oh and wow it's it's, it's been um really tough games um i think all of them have been nil nil <laughs> <Most, laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. um <laughs> so yeah very difficult team to beat and nobody going to obviously uh, in 2017 i think they were uh semi-finalists mm -hmm. last year they won it so yeah. another tough team mm -hmm. um and juggernaut for they have been recruiting i know a few of their players um who've come up into the vets um scene recently and they are very very decent so yeah it's it's an exciting group i'd say in regards to Chatok, do you have any additions from last year? Um, I haven't got any new addition, new 35-year-olds, um, but what we have is players who were missing last year. Last year. Um, they are uh, available. Um, we've actually got about three new 35-year-olds who aren't available, unfortunately, and one of them 
uh, was an ex-professional. Um, wow. And we've been trying to get him over. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, not this year, um, maybe next year. So we have been working mm -hmm. nationally to recruit and you know, get the uh, Shinani Yotid um, Upazela tournament out to everybody and you know, nationally as well. Thank you, Grash. I'll come back to you if, if given time. Uh, can I come to Anam now? Yeah. Gulab Gonj. You know, when, when we when the buzz starts, when the Upazela Kapur, the Kwatarum boy, Matarum boy, Gulab Gonj Nam Kali Oh, they've got a strong team, they've got a good squad and all that, you know. But come the tournament, come the day of the tournament, for the last four years, we are very disappointed with the Gulab Gunj. Is that are you going to surprise us this year? Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully every year we come into the tournament, um, probably the squad and the players we've got, we should be favourites. But unfortunately, we've been struggling for a while um, to score some goals. But um, hopefully this year it should be tough for all the teams in that group playing us. So um, let's see on the day. How how's the group looking looking for you? Well, I think that's you, you said it, you know, because it's, it's a very tough group mm. um, that one. Um, so I think um, whoever comes out on top of that group has got a very good chance. Any additions? <clears throat> yeah, like I think every puzzle has got some additions. You know, no, new thirty-fives. Really. I, I mean, we've played a few friendlies. We've seen them train. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of teams. But if you in the warm up, you will see there's some additions. But at the end of the day. When the squad is announced, these additions might not be in the additions. <laughs> I think tournament football, like, I mean, not be going to surprise all the Upazilas. I mean, it's all about... But when you say day. surprise, they played really well last year. They did, they did. That's yeah. what I mean. On the day, whoever's hungrier than the other teams yeah. and committed, they will, um, you know, get to the final. That's how it is. Tournament football is a long day. And whoever keeps their players fit throughout the tournament, you know, that's... Uh, Have you announced day. your squad? Yes, we have, yeah. It's done, is it? Yeah, it's done. 18 it's is, done. De is declared. Um, we have, yeah. We've got a few players coming in. Mm. They're on holiday, so they'll be back for the tournament. Okay, yeah. all the best in the competition to go Thank up you. Going. Thank you. Okay, and uh, Dirai, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> How is your group looking, Shafiq? Uh, it's looking good. Uh, we are the... Uh, we are the Dogish We are Dogish Namboj and... Uh, the game. And if, if Bishnath we had last year as well, yeah. uh, looking at the, uh, the group not bad, so it's all on the day. Uh. How's your team? Uh, team, we got two uh, new recruits this year. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we do well. So the problem with us, we don't have uh, enough players. We hardly can make 13, 14 players. Mm -hmm. I know it's cut of 18. Yeah. We, uh, we never filled 18, so yeah. had, uh, we really it's struggled for players. It's improving now. I mean, a lot, but you're better yeah. than last year. Yeah, we improve every year. Hopefully, in the coming years, you'll be improving, yeah. more in a, in a good shape. Hopefully, uh, just all the best. As, as all I think a number said, as all on the day. How are you, are you pleased you to have Dr. Shunamgwan in your team? Yeah, uh, definitely. As are you pleased to have them? Yeah, we'll have Derby game for Derby you. Game. Yeah, we played them last year as well. We had uh, we had two friendly with them as well this year. Yeah. So we played them so many times. So that should be a good game for us. We only played twice already this year. So. Okay. Now, if if did I, do you have a second preference if Dira doesn't win it? Uh, uh, I, ho well, I who hope. Who do you think? Not preference. Who do you think if Dira doesn't uh, win it? I think this year I'm going for uh, the thing you will do, uh, hoping they will do good. Zogonathu this year, hopefully. Who is that? I think Zogonathu. Zogonathu. Zogonathu every year the people say that, but yeah, they, you know. The, I hope they will they'll do this year. Okay. This year right, because, uh, is it because they are for Shunam going? Mm, not really. No, but they they, they got new team. management, they got new players coming mm. up, so hopefully. They do this year good. Yeah, managers, you need good managers, but you also need a good team. You need good players. On the day, they have to turn up. Doesn't matter how good the players are, how good yeah, the they managers are. They got a few, they come from outside London mm. as well, so. Okay, I'll come back to you if you given time. Jawar, uh, I didn't ask you that question. Uh, any new additions to Usman in Nagor? Uh, yeah, well, we've got some brothers from Oldham who have come down to a few training sessions. We were quite lucky we went to Bangladesh on tour during the tour, a lot of the players went with us and we discovered some of the players from outside London. That's nice. So, um, yeah, we should have some brothers from Oldham joining. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think there's a couple of youngsters that came out of that process there's as also well. one guy from uh, London, is called Farhan, Farhan, what's his name? For he's just for Sporting. Yeah, Farhan. Yeah. Farhan, yeah. I think yeah. he joined you guys. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's turned, he's, he's the right age now. He just turned. We've got, we've got some more, more players coming through next year as well. So oh, that's great. This year is one of the years where the new players are just going to try and gel. Let's see so what happens. So that means you guys will remain favourites for the next 10 years? 
Uh, who knows? <laughs> but that's what it is. Look, the guys who've played at good standard, the good thing is they understand, they have the hunger, and they, even if they haven't played vets football, if they've played at a good standard, they understand the tournament game management. They understand how to look after themselves, mm. and that makes a big difference. Sometimes when we have started Vets football, when we went on the tour, a lot of the players felt they could play, but when we went out there and in the heat, it's hard playing in Bangladesh. So that's where players who haven't got that experience realise it's not as easy as, uh, as they think. And uh, I think that's what experience brings. And we're lucky that we've got a few experienced players coming through. Yeah, but that's good, nice to hear. Because in, even when it started, when it kicked off, the Upajila first one, mm. uh, when he started the, uh, the team of uh, Usmani Nagar and with Balagwin in the first year, you had one of the most experienced team in the yeah. Bangladeshi community. Uh, a lot of them who have played for Sporting Bengal. That's right. And uh, when he played for Sporting Bengal, this is the highest rank in the right. within this community footballing, you know. So, That's right, and that so helps. you're blessed with that. And I think it's going to continue. Inshallah, I hope so. Okay, and finally, uh, if East Money Naga doesn't win it, who do you think it has a chance? For me, uh, my Nana Bari is from Jagannathpur, so I hope <laughs> Jagannathpur. <laughs> Uh, got uh, interest there. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> always related to Jagannathpur. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all the best with this one. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. If not, Jagannathpur. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, Gras, in regards to this question, same question. Same question is that uh, Chatok, obviously, if not Chatok. Not who do you want, who do you think can have a chance to win this tournament? I know on the day you have to turn up, but yeah. you know, we yeah. do look at the books before the tournament starts. Of course. Of course. Um, I've got two teams in my mind, I think, um, who are capable of dismantling Usmani Nagar's uh, sort of record of reaching finals. And um, I, I've, I've got a sneaky feeling it's either Biani Wazar or Mori Wazar, because um, they've been consistent. Yeah. And when you're consistent in this tournament or any tournament format, at some point you, you, know, you will break through. Um, both of them have been unlucky. Mori Wazar have been in, in a few finals. Um, yeah, two so finals. I think yeah, I, I think either one. But is you know, uh, to be honest, I can't. You can't knock us money over. You know, they've been four oh, yeah, final yeah. four years in a row. Forhan is a fantastic player. I've managed him. I've played with him as well. Um, great addition. And last year, Usman, did they lose it on penalties? Penalties yeah. both, both years. Uh, both years on penalties. Yeah, oh, yeah with the chapter so, as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, they, they've they've put the benchmark there. Mm. Um, but again. I've got suspicion it just might be a new winner this year. I hope so. It would make good for the competition. If it's not something, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> good for the competition, though. Uh, did I ask you this question, your second preference? Um, no, you haven't, no. Well, can I ask you that? Yeah, yeah you can. I mean, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go for What's my What's the neighbors. preference? Who do you think? As I, I think, uh, like Gross, but he said, I think um, one of the teams, he said, Biani Wazar, I think, I, I will, you know, that's my team, like, if... If Gulab yeah. Gwenj yeah. don't do um, yeah. get to the final. Um, I think they've got the, one of the best squads, and I've seen them train. They've got some new additions in that team, very experienced players. And I think Gulab will be able to can go all the way this year. Mm -hmm. you, and you said it's uh, Jagannath. Jagannath. So, so we remember that they're good side as well. Yeah. They're good side. Have you seen them play this year? No, I haven't seen them, but I know a few players. They're really good. Okay. So they, for the last couple of years, they've been unlucky. We honest with you. We played them last year, and they was in our group. So, okay, gentlemen. Just uh, finally, before we finish the chapter and come to the end of this program, can I ask you something uh, as, a, as a view viewpoint? What do you think of playing the Upajila as eleven aside, while it's keeping the eight aside at the platform it is? That's good. I think that's a very, very good, good idea. idea. Yeah, of very course, because yeah. every Upajila has got more than probably they've got more than. 50 players, yeah, I mean, they only can, they only only can pick um, 18, yeah. but um, I think it'll be a great idea, um, you know, I think... Um, but you know it can't be a one-day tournament, it has to be two-day tournament. No, it, it would be probably yeah, a two-day tournament. You pull two weekends. Yeah, 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 I think that's a really good initiative. You are? Good Definitely, way. I think that there's a lot of players who've played 11-a-side football who can't adapt to 7-a-side, yeah. so it's just opening it up to wider... The only problem is that, if you know, they looked into it, and. The problem is, you know, the players come from outside so far. It's very hard for them to come commit for two days. Because if it's an 11, 11 side tournament, it, it can't finish in one day. It, it can if you have four pitches. Get four pitches. You, you have can't get astro pitches, four pitches in. Play on grass, I would say. That will be the option. If you do want to finish in one day, then he has to go to something like Fekni Marshes, yes. which he can finish in one day. Yeah. 
would be tough, but you can finish it one day. Whereas, on the 11th side... I'm, I'm actually happy that Shinaliotis are looking at these options. No, we are. You know, they are expanding mm. um, the facilities, um, mm. and it can only be good for veterans um, and veteran football footballers, um, because, as Joel actually said, it, we've noticed that some players just can't adapt to 7 side, 8 side. They are purely 11 side players, and that mm. is, you know, a pure form of football. Oh, that's a pure form of football. 11 side. So, yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, I'll ask you another question out of the draw. It's, it's a very different question or a different suggestion of view from you. You know, Shinali Water came into this uh, platform to keep the veterans going on because if you think of it, a generation before you and me, you know, they, they have disappeared because they didn't have such a platform. Uh, since Shinali Water came in and created the veterans football, now we have this not only Shunali Watit competition, so many other leagues and competition and these veterans, you like, like yourself, I think if, they, if, did, if this thing doesn't exist, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be in football now. Or, or a lot of people, a lot of people. So that is a new concept. I mean, it's a very good concept. And hopefully with your support, all the community support, yes, all right, the team yeah. support, we can get bigger and do greater things. Dear viewers, come to the close of the uh, end of the program. So the Greater Senior Upadilla Cup is on the 25th, Sunday, Mabry Green, 10 a.m. kickoff. Everybody should come there with your children and family and hopefully come and support your team. Thank you for watching Sonali Football Night. Thank you, NTV. See you soon in a couple of weeks.